When you think of longevity research, chances are you don't think of zombie attacks. Unless, of course, you've seen the new video from the popular YouTube channel LifeNoggin. Created in partnership with Ascend's Research Foundation, this video and others like it could help broaden and strengthen the life extension community, and hopefully speed up the development of lifespan and healthspan extending technologies. The SENS Research Foundation is a 501c3 nonprofit organization, and one of the most well known in the area of longevity research. They have been working to put an end to age related diseases such as heart disease, cancer, and Alzheimer's disease since their formation in 2009. They seek to accomplish this through a focus on the damage repair approach. Instead of attempting to modify the complex and little understood metabolism of the human body in an effort to prevent damage from occurring, we can instead create rejuvenation technologies to ameliorate that damage as it occurs, staving off the development of disease. We've previously made a video on the reportedly $25 million that was raised for the SENS Research Foundation through the Pulse Chain airdrop in July of 2021, and Lifespan.io has released a video from their Ending Age-Related Diseases Conference explaining SENS projects in more detail. The acronym SENS stands for Strategies for Engineered Negligible Senescence, and while those working in geroscience are likely to understand what that means, we as a community need to be able to translate the science into something digestible and exciting for the general public. This will help more people understand that halting or even reversing the aging process is no longer the domain of science fiction, and that we can and should be allocating more time, attention, and resources to solving these problems. This is exactly what partnerships like the one that the SENS Research Foundation recently formed with LifeNoggin can help accomplish. LifeNoggin, which like Lifespan News, is owned by the 501c3 Lifespan Extension Advocacy Foundation, is a popular animated edutainment YouTube channel that has amassed well over 3 million subscribers. This audience skews younger, and is composed of people who have a clear interest in learning and science, particularly as it relates to the human body and building a positive future. However, they are not necessarily specifically interested in longevity, possibly because they just haven't yet been adequately exposed to the subject. Videos like this one can provide opportunities for that exposure, and spark new interest in this area of scientific research. The video itself teaches viewers about senescent cells, which are portrayed as zombie cells, and describes how their presence can lead to damage, and ultimately perhaps to age-related disorders like cancer, cardiovascular disease, dementia, osteoporosis, and metabolic diseases. The video also examines three methods currently being explored to address this damage accumulation. Senolytics, drugs that target and kill senescent cells, Senomorphics, which inhibit the secretion of the SASP, and immunosurveillance, which strengthens the immune system so it can recognize and eliminate senescent cells. These are all examples of the damage repair approach that the SENS Research Foundation is known for. The video ends by drawing attention to ApoptoSENS and their work to remove dysfunctional cells. ApoptoSENS is just one of seven programs that the SENS Research Foundation is currently exploring to address different types of damage, so there is a potential for more of these understandable and entertaining videos discussing the science of longevity. The life extension community is extremely knowledgeable and passionate, and is dedicated to doing whatever it takes to make lifespan and healthspan extending technologies available as soon as possible. Much of that work takes place in science labs and healthcare settings, but we should never overlook the importance of the work that takes place on video streaming sites and social media platforms. Our collective outreach and communication efforts have the potential to bring in even more funding, support, and resources to this cause, and it's time we leverage the audiences and platforms available to really make that happen. You can find this SENS video, as well as other LifeNoggin content, through the links in the video description. Please support it, as your likes, comments, and shares help make this video available to an even broader audience and can have a real impact. I'm Ryan O'Shea, and we'll see you next time on Lifespan News.